Okay, we're back with a little more information about retirement accounts. So, um, as I started to tell you, uh, you have to make regular deposits. Um, basically, it's whatever, wherever you're paid, that money's coming directly uh, out of your paycheck. It's withdrawn. And, and that's really a good idea in general because um, it's very hard to, say, get a paycheck for $1,500 and have $1,500 cash in hand or a $1,500 check that you're about to hand over to the bank teller um, and then to immediately put 100 of that into a savings account. Uh, because you want to use that money or you need to use that money for rent or your car insurance or whatever it happens to be. So the idea is that that money is removed from your account right away, just like your taxes and Medicare and Social Security are, um, so, that, so you don't even miss it because you never even had it in your hand. Um, but basically it's, like it's, direct, it's directly withdrawn from uh, each of your paychecks so that you have to, in other words, there's regular deposits being made into this retirement account. And, um, and you've got to deposit a minimum amount per year. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the, uh, the glare of the lights off of the board, but uh, you have to do, say, like a minimum of $2,000 a year or something like that uh, in order for uh, this all to, to work out. Um, here's the thing, though. This is, a, this is in essence, a, a, a savings plan. So it's designed for you to save over a long period of time. So therefore, you can't withdraw these funds. This is not like a regular savings account at the Mansfield Bank, where you could go in and you can take that money out at any point. Technically, you can do that with a retirement plan. But if you do withdraw the funds early, um, then there's a severe penalty. So you will have to say, uh, let's say that you, you know, you, there might be a case where you need the money, okay? You lost your job, you're about to lose your home, but this money in this retirement account can help you keep your home for uh, a few more months until you, or maybe even a couple years, until you can get another job. Hopefully it won't take you that long to get another job, but it's in the emergency, you can pull that out, but there's a severe penalty that you must pay because ultimately the, the idea behind this is that you're going to, you, you're going to save this money for a long amount of time. And in fact, you're not allowed to withdraw the funds without that severe penalty until you're at age 59 and a half. Okay, so that's a long time from now. Many of you are 18, so we're talking 40 plus years from now. Okay, uh, but that time will fly, trust me, because I started mine a long time ago, and here I am, 41, and uh, it didn't, I don't know where these, these last uh, 20 years have gone. It's been very quick. What happens, though, over the course of those 40 years? Remember the exponential growth. So you start your account, and you have no money in it. And you put in that a little bit each month, and slowly it's growing. And again, it takes time, but right around 35 years or so, all of a sudden is when you turn the corner, and then things start going up very fast. So it takes a while for this money to grow, but you do have that exponential curve right there. And again, if you're doing the 401k, which has since been erased, this will actually grow faster because some of the money that's being put into the account is not initially yours, so it does grow even faster. But eventually, what happens is you do get that, exp well, you're always getting the exponential growth, but you're really seeing that exponential growth as you get into your 50s, okay? And depending on what you put in, and, um, and how often you put it in, and if there's any matching, then oh, you know, starting at zero years, 40 years later, where you started at zero dollars, you do have the potential for that value of money to be over one million dollars. So this is the way that you get to become a millionaire uh, if you can't, say, uh, shoot a basketball like LeBron James or hit a baseball like Alex Rodriguez. Um, or act like uh, Jennifer Lawrence or Chris Pratt, well, this is how you get to be the million dollar, uh, be, uh, be, uh, I should, you should be a millionaire, I should say. I'm getting tongue tied here. Um, so ultimately, this can happen. And the idea is that it starts out slow because say you're only putting in 50 or $100 every paycheck, okay? But what happens over time? Well, you get a raise. Well, every time you get a raise, you can then take that, some of that money and add it. So now instead of doing 50 or 100, now you're doing 150 or $200 a paycheck. And that's adding to how quickly the exponential growth always goes. And again, this is also dependent upon how the interest return is. Did you do that high rate? Did you do the low rate? Did you do the moderate rate? Did you mix it all up? And was it a good financial year or not, okay? I'll be directly honest with, with you. I started off mine 
uh, in the late 90s, and I had a, a, a nice growth going, and then September 11, 2001 happened, and the markets crashed, and I lost money, and then it started growing again, and then in the, uh, the mid-2000s, uh, the aughts, if you will, about 2007, we had the housing crisis, and that dropped things again, and now it's growing again. So you're, it's not necessarily going to be this nice, smooth, exponential curve, but ultimately, I am, and everybody else, getting that exponential growth. It just may not always be as quickly as we want it to happen, but it can happen. It needs a little bit of luck, needs a lot of faith on your part. You gotta keep working for it, but again, you can be that millionaire, and um, that's all through retirement accounts, okay? Now, um, I'm going to, there's gonna be one more video in which I actually do the math up, so I'm gonna have you do some math, but I wanna just make one more point here. I know we're at six minutes, so I don't wanna make this video too long, but here's the deal. Remember, ultimately, what's, end up, what's happening here, the reason why we have this exponential growth is because you're getting more and more interest. The interest that you earn off of those initial small deposits then creates more interest. So basically, the interest is earning interest, okay? And when you get to this range right here, you're earning a lot of interest every year, okay? We're talking about 40, 50, 60, 70, $80,000 worth of interest in one year, okay? You, you, and now think about that for a second. So let's say after 40 years, so you start this when you are 22, okay? And this is the thing, is you want to start this when you're young because you need the time. If you start this when you're 40, well, you only have 20 years until you hit that 59 and a half. 20 years gets you to here. 40 years gets you here. So you need to start this very early. If you take any advice away from this course, it's start your retirement plan as soon as you possibly can. Okay, but getting back to that, 40 years down the road, okay, we're talking, let's say we have just short of a million dollars in there, okay? But 39 years into this, you had 900, well, let's just, let's just say you had 900,000, okay? And now you're at 980,000 after 40 years. So during that, third, that 40th year, you made $80,000 worth of interest, okay? Well, now you're over the age of 59 and a half. You can remove that money. You can remove $80,000, and you can spend that $80,000 over the course of a year. Well, guess what's happening while you're spending that $80,000? This account is still earning money. Because remember, there's still $900,000 in that account, and the interest is going to make the $80,000 back, potentially. You spend $80,000, and then you still have that $80,000 at the end, and you get to do this all over again the following year, okay? And that's where you get to become the cool grandma or the cool grandpa who has all the money that you get to spend on your grandkids or have the home down in Florida that they get to come and visit you with. Your interest makes more money while you're spending the interest from the previous year. That's, in essence, the best part about these retirement plans is that you're, you're making the money that you're spending. And even if you take out $200,000, well, there's still $700,000, $750,000 in that account that's still going to earn some money. So the idea, though, is that you need to be here. And in order to be here, you've got to start at a young age. You need that time. So start your retirement plans as soon as you can.